Well, hi there, pluckers. I have a sore fingers again with you. Thanks for joining me for what I hope will be a, an interesting lesson for you. Okay, this is uh, part one of my lessons on diamonds and rust from Joan Baez. Okay, classic song of hers. Uh, standard tuning, okay, but the capoed at the first fret. Okay. Uh, this is uh, how she used to play it, I think, when she first recorded the song. There are versions of her doing it without a capo, just in standard tuning, with no capo. Um, but uh, this is how it was originally, I believe. Okay. So, um, hopefully you'll find this lesson not too difficult. It's not the easiest song to play, by all means, especially if you're singing it as well. Uh, but. Um, my different my version is slightly different to most other people's in such that I'm doing it it's with a pick. This song is generally speaking finger picked, but um I'm breaking the mould. Okay, and using a pick. Okay, so it's my take on it. So starting off with the um the intro. And this lesson is purely about the intro, okay? There's a lot to learn in this intro and I think it's enough for one lesson. Okay, so we're starting off, I say, with the intro, and I'll just show you the, the basic form of the intro, you know, the, the nuts and bolts of the intro. Basically an E minor, chord shape, and I'd like to get you to get this in under your belt before you go any further, and that's the basic, you know, the main thing about the intro you hear when you listen to it, is this... also played in the verse section as well so it's, it's you need to get it right um, so what am I doing so I'm, I'm fretting an E minor and all I'm doing is I'm playing the bottom E string open the second on the fifth second on the fourth and then I'm taking the fourth string up to the fourth fret from the capo and then back to the second fret on the fourth string finishing up on the second on the fifth so it's basically straightforward it's not too difficult yeah okay so that's the gist of it okay so obviously we need to fill it in a bit <laughs> so what I did was this first phrase of the intro and the verse that's the verse okay so what am I doing so based on what that little riff I showed you the very simple basic riff right what am I doing so hold an E minor chord and play the bottom E string open and then two very light um, caressed <laughs> down strokes from about four downwards. So you got from about four downwards, okay? Very simple, yeah. Then we do the same thing with the fifth string, second on the fifth, two very light downstrokes, four downwards. Alright, so you got Yeah. So far so good. Then we do the second on the fourth. But this time we only do one downstroke, okay? Got that? So. Then we move this uh, second on the fourth up to the slide it, by all means, up to the fourth fret from the capo on the uh, fourth string there, the D string. Okay, so we've got. Move that finger up, slide it up, and when you've slid it up, you play fourth string, open third, open second. Okay, so now you've got this. Then 
we move that fourth fret on the fourth string back to the second fret and do the same arpeggiate again four three two open third open second okay okay so now you've got this Play that second on the fifth again, second on the fifth, play that on its own, and then do a, another light strum four downwards. So, okay, so now you've got this first phrase. You got that? Um, so that's the first phrase. Now the second phrase starts exactly the same. But instead of going to the fifth string second fret and doing a strum, it does something else. Okay? And that something else is we come after we've gone back to the uh, second fret and done that. So it's second phrase. back to the 4th fret on the 4th string and just play the 4th string and the open 3rd as an arpeggiator just the two notes separate yeah no strum okay so now you've got this right from the beginning on that fourth on the fourth and the third open then what we do is we move this fourth on the fourth up to the fifth on the fourth go up one fret with that finger whichever finger you're using and play the fourth on the, uh, the fifth fret of the fourth string arpeggiate with the open third open second then go back to the fourth fret on the fourth string and arpeggiate again four three two open third open second then go back to the fifth fret and just do fourth on the fourth with the open third so this second phrase is down from okay so so far right from the beginning right fret of the third string I'm using my first finger and we do three second third string open second open top right and we do one 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 like that and then we play the open third open second open top just the top three strings open so it's and then we put that finger back second on the third and repeat Three, two, one. So it's sorry, no, don't. Sorry, so it's a second on the third, top three strings, open top three strings, and then just do the second on the third with the open second. Don't play the top E string this time. Okay, so you got that. Play the top E on that last one, okay? So, right from the beginning. Okay, as far as we got. Now what we do is 
we form this shape two fingers first fingers playing the third fret from the capo top E string and my second fingers playing fourth fret on the third string from the capo fourth fret from the capo on the third string open second string okay and it, this is all on the top three strings again three two one right except you do twice you do it twice three two one three two one and then hit that third string on its own again so it's a right okay got that then what we do is we take it up to this shape that's the fifth fret from the capo third string and top and the top E string on the fifth fret and again the open second string and it's the same thing on that you do three two one and then end up on that third string again so three two two one three two one three okay and then we go back to this this one you do again third top top E string third fret third string fourth fret from the capo again you do same as you did before three two one three two one three okay so so far right from the beginning go to this shape it's second on the now second on the third with the second on the top E with the open second again uh, now obviously you could use whichever fingers you like but I I tend to use my third finger and pinky it might be a bit tricky for you but the reason is we're going to end up with a B seventh chord uh, so this saves you moving your fingers about in the next bit so if you can do it that way second on the third from the capo and the top E string open second string so have you done this bit where it goes like uh, you do this one do that twice three two one three two one but then you end up playing the first fret of the fourth string the D string okay that's why I'm using these fingers got that so now so far then shall we take it all the way from the beginning once again so here we go So that's as far as we've got. So we end up on that first fret, fourth string. Now, what we do now is we form the B7 chord that I talked to you about just now. So if you've got, if you're using those fingers, they can stay where they are, and this one on the first fret of the fourth string. And we need to play a B7 with F sharp in the bass, which is the second fret of the bottom E string. So this second finger goes over to the second fret on the bottom E string and you hit that and then you play so it's right so you come out of that so you play the bottom E string the fourth string downwards so you go off on the Six, four, three, 
two, one, two, three. Then end up on the fourth string, okay? Do you end up on that first on the fourth there? Yeah? And then we're back to the original first phrase. Two more of those and then we start singing first verse so there's your intro so let's go through the whole thing very slowly okay have it boys and girls the first part and I should imagine that might take you a little while to get your head around so I'm going to leave the next one for a day or two before I come back with the rest of the song which is um, a lot easier because you'll have done the verse bit with that you play that bit you play that in the verse so you've got the start of the verse already and the rest of it is basically fairly straightforward, normal chords sort of thing. There is some bar chords in it, but you don't have to play them. But uh, I'll give you all options on that. So there you go, boys and girls. Enjoy the intro. Hopefully you will uh, manage to do it. Uh, please, please give me some feedback and uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> Thanks very much. See you in hopefully in the next lesson when you've all learned that. Bye for now.